Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the psychology necessary to pass your board exam. Now, I've had a lot of people tell me, Jared, I'm not a very good test taker. What do I do? I wanna pass my board exam. I don't wanna waste $700 and have to retake it again. What do I do? Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to focus on is your mentality. Before we get into the details of this specific EEG thing, this specific thing, no, you gotta have the confidence first. You gotta have the belief that you can actually do it. You're probably gonna find a way to fail if you're consistently telling yourself you're a bad test taker. Uh, I've seen multiple people do this, and that's the number one mistake when you're first getting started preparing for the board exam. Never tell yourself you're a bad test taker. Even if you've done bad on tests in the past, maybe you weren't interested in those subjects. Maybe you didn't have enough time to study. So it, you can't just label yourself as a bad test taker. You're gonna get yourself in trouble doing that and it might be a self-fulfilling prophecy. So we gotta get yourself from being hypnotized that you're a bad test taker to now we gotta flip it around and start hypnotizing yourself telling yourself that you're great, you can do it, you're gonna kill this test. This test is no match for you. They're not gonna be able to stop you. Now, <laughs> that's a long way going from, hey, I'm a terrible test taker my whole life to I'm gonna do amazing. And you, at the beginning, it's gonna be a little bit of a lie. But if you can tell it to yourself and you can slowly start to believe it, if you can visualize yourself passing the exam and fulfilling your your destiny of becoming an EEG tech registered or whatever board exam you're going to pass you have to see yourself before you even take the test you have to see yourself as already have passing passing the test it sounds a little weird but if you can have that clear mental picture it's very helpful so Alexander the Great was mentored by Aristotle and Aristotle told Alexander to visualize yourself fulfilling your glorious destiny in vivid detail every single day. Continually visualize yourself fulfilling your destiny and nothing's gonna be able to stop you. And that's what he did. And then he told Alexander that there's two different things if you wanna stay on course. One action is gonna lead you towards your goal that's the action that you're gonna to wanna to take. And then other actions, they're not gonna lead you towards your goal, your ultimate destiny that you yourself defined. In this case, our ultimate destiny is passing our board exam with flying colors and becoming a registered EEG tech or doctor or whatever exam you're gonna pass. That is what you have to visualize. And if you can do that over and over again, you are essentially hypnotizing yourself. Now the main takeaway from this video is essentially hypnotize yourself. You're either negatively hypnotizing yourself for failure or you're positively hypnotizing yourself for success. And you hypnotize yourself through suggestions. It's either gonna be through suggestions of other people, they can say bad things about you, negative things, or they can build you up with positive suggestions. And then you also have the suggestions that you make from yourself to yourself telling yourself I'm great or telling yourself I'm bad or I'm not good with girls or I'm not a good test taker. You can take those negative suggestions and then start telling yourself positive things. Tell yourself that enough times and you can get emotionally invested in it. You can actually come out and change your self image. And if you change your self image, you change your actions. And if you believe you can pass the test, you're probably gonna study more for the test. And if you study more for the test, you're gonna pass, guys. And, but on the contrary, if you believe, oh, I'm a bad test taker, I've always done bad on tests, there's nothing I could do, why would you waste your time studying that much? And then once you show up to test day, oh, I'm a bad test taker, uh, you're gonna fail. And it would be a miracle if you passed because you spent all this time telling yourself you're a bad test taker and avoiding studying because you deep down, you know, oh, this is a waste of time. I'm going to I'm going to fail. No, guys, switch it around. Positively hypnotize yourself for success. It really works. I promise. Mike Tyson, he was hypnotized from a teenager 
by his trainer, Customato, he would tell him, since a young teenage boy, you're going to become world champion. You're going to go beat these guys. We're going to do this, this, and this. And he hadn't even had an amateur fight yet. And he was already talking to him about, you're going to become world champion, Mike. You can do this. You can do this. He would attack anyone who tried to put in negative suggestions into young Mike Tyson's mind. If they tried to tell him, oh, he's too short, he's too young, which were valid things to say, but Customato, Mike Tyson's trainer, he had to really take control of Mike's mind and only make sure positive thought impulses that would lead him towards his greater destiny were able to reach his mind. So you guys can take the same techniques, the same tactics that Mike Tyson used to become the youngest heavyweight champion on earth, and you can pass your board exam with it, guys. Hypnotize yourself for success. You got this. I believe in you, especially if you follow my videos. You can't go in there unconfident. At least, at least smile, act like you're happy, you can do it. I believe in you guys. Hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you all for watching. Good luck on your exams. Let me know how it goes, guys. Let me know if this video helped you. And I will see you all on the next video.